Good morning. It doesn't really feel like morning though. We're not having the brightest start of the day today. It's pretty dark and gray and cold outside. It's currently 10.30. I just finished a two-hour Japanese studying session and I feel like my brain is a little bit fried right now. I definitely need a break. So I'm reheating some coffee and I'm gonna start making some sourdough and a focaccia. Zay is also making his own sourdough loaf. Hopefully everything will ferment over the day and we can bake everything in the evening. So I got sick a few weeks ago and although I've rapidly recovered from whatever flu I had, it seems that my mental health took a bit of a hit. Lately my mood's been kind of like Berlin summer weather, just unpredictable, unreliable and with a taste of every season within a 24 hour span. My thoughts are all over the place, I can't seem to concentrate and my anxiety seems to be taking over more than usual. It's crazy how just a mild flu put me back into a depressive state and honestly it makes me angry at my body, at my brain. But just like Berlin weather, you gotta deal with whatever you have and try to make the most out of the good days, I guess. Hey Siri, set a timer for half an hour. Okay, so part of this is done. I still have to fold it every half an hour for at least two hours. And while I wait for that, I'm gonna make some vegetable dashi stock. It's very hard to find vegetable or vegan dashi stock at the Asian supermarket or any supermarket for that matter. So I've been making my own at home. So to make the dashi, I add a handful of dried shiitake mushrooms, a kombu sheet, a teaspoon of dried wakame, and around six cups of water to a pot. Then I like to add some vegetables for extra flavor. This time I'm using a small radish, a leftover leek, and one shallot with skin. Then I add two tablespoons of mini and a third of a cup of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna let this cook for at least an hour and a half. In the meantime, I added seeds to the bread and the focaccia was getting huge, so I started preparing that for the oven. In the meantime, the dashi was ready, so I turned off the heat and let it cool down to room temperature while I finished everything else. Mm -hmm. 
And let me tell you something, this focaccia turned out so freaking good, it was so fluffy and flavorful and I don't know, honestly I think it's the best focaccia I've ever made. Mm. Hey Suri, thank you. Okay, my sister just sent me the cutest postcard from Italy. It's really cute. <laughs> it's going on this frame until I find something better. <laughs> but also, speaking of cats, the other day we went to a flea market and we found these really kitsch plates. It was like a whole collection. We got like three plates. The ones that we like the most, basically. So here's the first one. This is kind of like a herbalist shop, I guess. There's so many details here. Um, now, the second one is really funny, uh, just because, I mean, the details. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think this is pretty fucking funny. Um, and the third one is just a very cute one. It has like a vintage Singer sewing machine, and I don't know, it's just freaking adorable. Anyway, these are not safe to eat. Uh, and so we are hanging them eventually on the walls. I'm not sure where. Um, I just knew that as soon as I saw these, I had to get some. So I am currently in the process of a summer reset. I feel like my life has been pretty stagnant ever since I came back from Portugal. And I, well, I've been struggling with my mental health, let's be honest. I've struggled with my mental health pretty much all of my life. And I mean, it's not like I am in this constant state of feeling bad and sad and crying or whatever. Like everything in life, it goes through cycles. And there's definitely times when I can manage myself and manage my life and I can live with this but also there are cycles that sometimes i go through when the weight of existence feels pretty heavy when you have to deal with depression and anxiety things oftentimes feel very unbalanced and life can seem pretty heavy it takes so much strength to just get one step forward you know and then it feels like sometimes when I'm having one of those bad days, it's like I'm going back so many steps, you know? Ever since I entered this burnout that I'm still trying to recover from, there's definitely some things that changed inside of me. Uh, like, for example, I feel like my ability to deal with stress is broken. <laughs> now it feels like if I have more than two or three tasks a day, I get really overwhelmed. Or if there's like a minor inconvenience happening in whatever I was planning to do, I just go into full freeze mode, which is honestly quite scary. It makes me feel weak and useless. And I know I'm neither of those things, but those are the thoughts that always come up to me. Having those thoughts eventually just lead me to this state of feeling unmotivated and having like this overall lack of joy in doing things that I used to be able to do before and loved doing before. I don't know, I'm... All I can do is just try to do my best every single day and accept that sometimes my best is not what I expect of myself, you know? I know things are better because in the past those two things were, those two states were pretty unbalanced, like something like this. This being the bad days and these being the good days and I feel like I've been trying my best to just like make it more evenly, you know, make it more balanced. And eventually I would like it to be a little bit like this, you know, just having 
the good days wait a little bit more than the bad days but it's really tricky and <laughs> so far <laughs> i mean i wouldn't say that i'm doing a bad job but i'm also not doing a great job It's been raining so much this past few days, which is definitely not what I was expecting from the Berlin summer that everybody talks about. I, I'm not sure what's happening, probably climate change, but this is definitely not what people have been trying to sell me about Berlin summer, I guess. Anyway, I am going bouldering today. It's something that I've been doing for a few months now. Actually, I used to go around once a week. Actually, in the beginning, it was more like every other week, but I've been doing it very regularly this past month. We've been going twice a week, me and Zay and a friend. It's definitely harder than it looks and I'm not very good at it and my body hurts so much the next day but i've been enjoying it i think it's really fun and stimulating and it definitely tricks your brain it doesn't really feel like a workout you know even though you're really working out every single muscle in your body but it doesn't feel like one and my neurodivergent brain really appreciates because I do hate working out because I get bored really easily with workouts. It also feels great that I'm actively choosing to move my body in a time when maybe I don't really feel like it, but I still push myself to do it. I think that oftentimes when we don't feel great about ourselves and we're going through a rough time, we often forget to treat our bodies well. But I did notice that when I actively choose to move my body in times like this, I do feel better. It's not a miracle thing, it's not gonna solve any of the core issues, but I definitely did notice that I feel better afterwards because when you move your body, you're releasing some tension that you might have been building up in certain areas. And so movement really helps release that tension and keeps the energy flowing. I have like this playlist on my phone called Crying on the Dance Floor, which is basically just a bunch of songs that are really depressing, but great for dancing. And every time I feel super depressed and feel like crying, or if I'm overwhelmed with anxiety, I put on my headphones, I turn the music really loud and I just dance like a maniac. <laughs> And yes, in the beginning I always feel ridiculous, but then you kind of enter this flow and it doesn't really matter anymore because honestly nobody's watching you. So you can dance however you want to and nobody's gonna judge you for that. For me, it's the most effective way to regulate my nervous system when I need it. I feel so much lighter afterwards. It's more effective than any meditation or breathing exercise I've ever tried. Anyway, it's time for me to get ready and go climb some walls. Tu consegues, tu consegues, não desistes.
Take a full circle of the head, letting the head tip back. It's supposed to be sunny and warm all day today, which is kind of like a miracle because it's been raining pretty much every single day for the past three weeks. But it does seem like today we're having a summer day, which is great. So I'm gonna try my best to spend the day outside and enjoy the sun while it lasts. I'm gonna have breakfast and wait for Zay to come back from the gym and then just grab our things and do whatever we have to do today uh, outside, hopefully. Whenever I go through these mental health cycles, these bad cycles, I tend to isolate myself, I don't leave the house that often, I don't really socialize with people, which can be good sometimes for self-reflection and sit with your feelings and try to process whatever is happening in your mind and body, but I feel like when you do it too much and that becomes like your comfort place to be, uh, I think it can become detri detrimental. In the end, it just makes me feel worse. So I'm trying to break the pattern and do something different and see what happens. Just staying curious. Sometimes I say to myself, don't be crazy, Sarah, but my name is not Sarah, so anyway. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>